unbox him, we shall. Hey guys, me host Super Solo, thank you very much for tuning in. It's Jedi Master Yoda with the Force Ghost Yoda. Mm. I'm going to do the review of this one. I'm really excited to break this out of the packaging. I've been dying to get all of this. And we've nearly got our crew now. Do you remember ages ago I was telling you about the skits I plan on doing? We're using Yoda, Stitch, Spider Ham, and Rocket Raccoon. Saving saving across the Disney Galaxy. One step closer to that skit dream. <laughs> They're like the Disney version of the Expendables. <laughs> and I've even got a storyline planned out for them which I'm excited about. It's to do with Venom, it's to do with Port Grind, it's to do with Darth, uh, Darth Vader and Darth Maul. So, four villains, four heroes. It's going to be awesome. I really can't wait to do the, uh, the skit in the series in uh, stop animation. But um, anyway, for now... We have Yoda from the Star from the Star Wars toy box range, exclusively to Disney Store. It states on the back of the box that the Disney Store is proud to introduce the Star Wars toy box range of action figures, bring adventures to life with characters from across the Walt Disney Company. And of course, you've already seen my reviews that on Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, and Chewbacca. Han Solo yet to hit the UK. Well, he's hit certain stores, but not all of them. A lot of stores up north don't seem to have him, but Yoda's. Sneaked his way out across uh, London and Northern England so far that I've noticed. So that's pretty cool. But guys, let's break Yoda out of the packaging. Mm, unbox him, we shall. Here we go. <laughs> For over 900 years have I trained Jedi. There is nothing in the temple, only that which you take with you. We have a new leaflet. Let's see if there's anything new on it. Oh, I've dropped it! I've dropped it! One minute! Okay, let's see if there's anything on it. Let's see if there's anything new. Uh, nah, so this is the same one that we saw already. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the same stuff, nothing new. We've already looked at all that. I can't wait for that Hulkbuster. I really want the Hulkbuster. Okay. Oh, we have rope ties on these ones. Interesting. I haven't seen a rope tie on one of these in a long time. And, woo. No, they took my eye out. <laughs> Yoda is free. Mm. All right, I'll stop doing the voice now. <laughs> and hopefully, we can get the Force Ghost Yoda out. Yeah, Force Ghost Yoda is nice. Okay, Yoda. Yoda! Oh, so happy. It's such a cool figure. So we have Yoda. He looks mint. How easily does that lightsaber fit in that hand? Oh, very easily. Nice. Do or do not. There is no dry. Mm. Yeah, look at that, Yoda. Yeah. Such a cool figure. I love the expression. It's so good. This figure's going to do well. It's going to be loved the world over, this figure, by both collectors, kids. Oh, his joints are very stiff, which is good. Ooh, be very careful, though. That's scuffed like hell. 
Luckily it wipes away under his chin. As I move the head joint down for the first time, a lot of green paint just chipped away. So that head's a bit delicate. But let me show you the articulation, guys. So the head is on a ball joint, so you cannot make him look down as well as up. But as you can see, it does leave some scuff marks behind. And you can make him look left and right as well. The hood doesn't come up sadly, but the cloak is made of a soft vinyl, meaning that the arms can rotate still and uh, still lift up if they want them to, as well as down. No elbow or anything, but the, uh, the hand does rotate back and forth as well. Uh, this other hand as well is nice because you can put that up. So, uh, yeah. Uh, there is a break at the middle there, so you can rotate him at the middle. Uh, there's no form of knees because he's too small, but his legs do lift forward and backwards. And surprisingly, he does have little pegs on his feet, so you can peg him if you wanted to. Uh, the Force Ghost Yoda that comes with him is just a static vinyl figure. It doesn't actually come with any form of articulation, it's just a see-through blue hologram. Uh, but that's still a really nice figure. And uh, I can't wait to mess about with this. Because obviously we can use this to make trans trans uh, transmissions. And I can use that to, to, like I said, to do transmissions to the other sort of characters within the series. Mm, mission view, I have stitch. Mm. Mission for stitch, okay, Yoda. Mm. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Such a cool figure. Yoda himself is just amazing. Really like how they made him. Let's go to the desk cam though guys, where I can give you an up close personal look at the figure. We'll compare him size wise to other figures in the range. Because I'm not sure if he's, I think he's, yeah, he's a lot shorter than Mickey Mouse. So we're going to compare him to some other figures from this range. And we'll see how he looks. So let's go to the desk cam. Okay guys, here is Yoda out of the packaging. Looking awesome. I really like how this figure looks. They've done a great job of bringing this to life in my opinion. So good. What do you guys think of this Yoda, man? That face sculpt on Yoda is amazing. I managed to take some nice pictures, actually. Luke um, poses okay with him. Um, but Chewbacca looks so funny. You can, you can make him, like... You can make Yoda almost stand on Chewbacca's shoulders. It looks really funny. He's like he's on his backpack, almost, like in the movies. Like in Return there, Revenge of the Sith. So that's quite fun. It was a nice little thing to do. Well, the figure itself is great. I love his expression. It reminds me a lot of the Clone Wars. Uh, I think this is what this is based on. It's very Clone Wars-ish. It just looks perfect. It fits and blends well into this kind of um, you know, cartoony setting. And then, of course, we've got the blue holographic version of Yoda as well. So that's kind of cool. They're calling it Force Ghost on the packaging, uh, to be honest. They are calling it Spirit Yoda, but um, for me, it's more of, it's not really a Force Ghost or a Spirit Yoda for me, that's, it looks more like a hologram. That's probably what I'll use it as. But what do you guys think? Do you like this uh, set? Do you think this was a good set to have? Obviously Yoda is a little bit smaller, so it's nice that he came with a secondary piece, uh, being the you know holographic version of himself, or the, well, this Force Ghost version of himself. But would it have been nice to include something else? I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Do you like the other the little vinyl Yoda, or would you prefer to get a secondary creature or something new in the box? Let us know in the comments down below. Personally, I would have liked his, his um, walking stick as well, but we didn't get that. We only got the uh, we only got this lightsaber. I thought it was going to come packaged with the uh, the, ho the the hover chair from the Clone Wars and from the uh, the, the prequels, but it does seem that they're ignoring the prequels in this range. They're doing the original trilogy, so sticking with it. But what are your thoughts, guys? Let us know in the comments down below, and let's do some comparisons quickly uh, to some of the other figures in the range. So here's Yoda. Uh, here he is alongside Luke. <laughs> the size difference is just crazy. You know, it does look a lot smaller than Luke, which you would expect. My Luke's so worn at this point, he doesn't even want to stand up anymore. And then, of course, he's even dafter when you bring in Chewie into the mix. <laughs> have to zoom out. <laughs> but it's actually, um, Mickey Mouse is even taller than than Yoda. So Yoda, by comparison, is very, probably the, the smallest one we've done so far. Hey there, little fella. <laughs> if we bring in Pluto as well, he's smaller than Pluto. So this is definitely 
the smallest one we've done so far in the Star Wars range. Can we get Luke to stand for something? There we go. But what are your thoughts, guys? Let us know in the comments down below. If this is a set that you are interested in, is Yoda something you want for your collection? Let us know in the comments down below. Let's go back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, guys, please smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out. It helps us keep making awesome videos. We are going to be doing a massive giveaway at 20,000 followers, which isn't that far away. So make sure you subscribe to be in it to win it. It is the biggest giveaway I've ever done. So I'm really excited about that. But guys, what are your thoughts on Yoda? I really want to hear your feedback on this one. It's a different kind of figure. It's a different scale. It's brand new. Let us know. And I love replying to your comments, guys. I respond to every single comment. So always make sure you leave us a little something down below and you will get a response. It might take a day or two, but I always get around to responding. That's one of the things I love doing on here. Love the interaction. And I hope you guys are enjoying all the content we've been putting out recently because I've been enjoying filming it. What are your thoughts, guys? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll speak to you again soon. May the Force be with you. Bye!